dialogues I'm Anshika Mishra today will talk about. Cell crowding in early human embryos influences cell identity decisions finds a new culture system. New research conducted by the Institute and the Wellcome MRC Cambridge Stem Cell Institute has developed a cell culture system that differentiates human pluripotent stem cells to amniotic ectoderm and surface ectoderm based on cell density. Published in Journal Science Advances, the research revealed that cell density in early human embryos affect whether cells become extra embryonic or contribute to the embryo, forming skin, hair and nails. The amniotic ectoderm forming the embryo surrounding membrane provides crucial signals for human embryo development, yet its origin remains partially understood. Surface ectoderm responsible for skin and related structures share similarities with amniotic ectoderm but is not fully elucidated in its development. Despite differences, both tissues exhibit early specialization and common biological features. Dr. Shota Nakona devised tailored culture conditions for human pluripotent stem cells, discovering that specific supplements prompted their differentiation into amniotic ectoderm. Utilizing a co-cultured method, he verified the ability of these cells to initiate gastrulation. Single-cell RNA sequencing analysis indicated a differentiation pathway from surface ectoderm to amniotic ectoderm. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Comparison with primate embryo data confirmed cultured cell similarity to embryonic tissues. Cell density determined cell fate, favoring amniotic ectoderm under specific conditions and surface ectoderm under high density. The study also found resembling extra embryonic mesoderm. Accurate amniotic formation is vital for mimicking human embryo development in stem cell based models, allowing study beyond technical and regulatory limitations on human embryo research. We have only recently begun to explore the generation of amnion during human development. These findings advance our understanding on how to generate extra embryonic cells in, in the lab in vitro and sheds light on the mechanism that drive the formation of cell types at the stages that correspond to the black box of human development. Given the growing interest in using stem cell embryo model as proxies of human embryo, this work provides more knowledge for the generation of successful integrated models, said Dr. Teresa Rayan, group leader of the Institute's Epigenetic Research Program. Our culture system also generates extra embryonic mesoderm, another tissue not studied well in human embryos. It will provide better understanding of human development and could improve our knowledge about diseases affecting first step of fetal life. This work also opens the door for new studies regarding the role of cellular density in cell fate decision, concluded Professor Valier, Professor of Stem Cell and Regenerative Therapies at the Bolin Institute of Health at Charete. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.